Welcome back to the Punk Uncle Show. You know, over the last year that I've been doing this YouTube channel and putting videos up, I've covered a lot of stuff. New bikes, new gear, new equipment, cooked some new recipes, tried some new drinks. But today, I've got a really big announcement. We have entered an entirely new chapter in our lives. We got a van. Now I know I'm not the first mountain biker, certainly not the first YouTuber to buy a van to convert to a camper for mountain bike use, but every build is unique and I think where we're starting is a little unique. So I want to just give you a quick tour and show you what our starting point is and then maybe kick around some thoughts about what we might do with this thing in the future. This is a yet to be named 2021 Ram Promaster 2500. It's the 159 inch wheelbase and Promasters are all pretty much the same as far as the engine they come with, the V6, front wheel drive, uh, the electronics, transmission, everything. So I'm not going to focus so much on the actual equipment of the van, but just show you the configuration that I bought mine in and then talk a little bit about what we plan to do with it in the future. Up front, basic Promaster. We've got seating for two, Bluetooth, uh, armrest, telescoping, steering wheel. It's got cruise control. Uh, one nice thing is power folding mirrors. So the, these vans are fairly wide. So that is a nice thing to know if you got to park in a tight spot or you're going to leave it somewhere for an extended period of time, you're able to just pull those in. And that is a nice feature. But what's really cool and interesting about the van we bought is back here. This is essentially a crew cab. So the dealer I bought this through did an upfit on it. So this isn't a factory option, but this is something that you can find at certain dealers now where they will put this second row of seating here. So along with this seating option comes this partition. So the cargo area and then the passenger cabin are completely separated by this big plastic partition. That presents a unique um, set of challenges and benefits where the benefit is obviously the area that I have to cool or heat for passengers is smaller and insulated. So that's gonna make it easier to make it comfortable temperature wise driving down the road. But whatever I build in the back, I'm gonna be limited to being able to get in and out from the back doors only. There is no passing through with the partition here. So that's something that we thought about but just at the point we are in our lives, we've got three kids. Um, they're all older teenagers and into their early 20s and college age now, but still we didn't feel like we could limit ourselves to a van that only had seating for two people because we wanna go on family rides sometimes and that kind of thing. So this is something that fits our needs right now and we're gonna get very custom with what we do back here. So let's check out how much space is actually still available to us. Walk around to the back with me. you can see the high roof I'm 510 and there's still a good amount of headroom here uh, we will be insulating and putting a subfloor and then insulating the roof as well so it's probably going to be bring it pretty close to head height for me but that's fine what I love about this though is that all the way to the back here we've still got a good amount of room we're not going to build a full-blown camper with a bathroom and full galley and all that, obviously. But we do have the room to do what we need to do as far as making weekend trips to ride different places or going for longer trips and staying at a campground with bathrooms and showers and that kind of thing. So that's the plan. What we know we need for sure is a bed, storage for bikes. Most vans, that happens at the very rear. But because we have to access this one from the rear, what I'm thinking right now is that the bed and bike storage will actually be up here, basically at the center of the van, the front of the cargo area. So I'm thinking the bed platform will probably come out just about to the wheel wells or maybe the first quarter of the wheel wells here. That will give us a nice wide bed. I want to have storage for three bikes underneath that. And then we do plan to run solar, have the inverter and batteries and everything. So if you dip down and look, got a nice big open area under the rear seat and partition there that I can probably build um, 
the all the electrical stuff, get it housed down there, and possibly even some other utilities, uh, water tank or air compressor, different things that we may add to this. So the solar is going to be one of the first things I want to do. Um, bike storage is obviously the very first project I'm going to tackle just so that I can use this to transport the bikes um, to different places. I have sold my truck, don't have that option anymore, so this is it. We've got to make it work and then just kind of modify it as we get things built. Um, so solar will be probably pretty early because I want to get a powered roof vent um, so that it's comfortable to sleep in here. We may add a window or two to the sides, not sure on that yet. Um, obviously insulation for the walls and ceiling. Um, once we get power, I'll get the bike storage set up on the floor, then build the bed above that, get the walls, get everything insulated, and then probably build out some cabinetry with some seating back here uh, towards the rear doors, uh, some sort of table hopefully that we can swing between two seats on either side of the van um, for eating, working on the laptop, any of that kind of stuff. And then we'll probably want um, a microwave and some sort of water setup where we have at least a spray nozzle to wash dishes outside the van, wash ourselves off, wash bikes, you know, just have that option. And then I'd really like to have onboard air as well. As with any project of this magnitude, I am sure we will change our minds a thousand times. And it's very possible that everything I just said, none of it will come to pass at all. Like the whole plan could change completely, but it's already been fun to just start thinking about it. I mean, if you've gotten into vans or even thought about it, I'm sure you're like me and you've watched a thousand YouTube videos and that will continue to happen. Um, but it's gonna be really cool. I'm looking forward to this process. I'm looking forward to being able to document it and I always like to do things a little bit differently. I haven't seen a van um, with this configuration that's been done, uh, converted into a camper van. I can't find anything on that. So if you have seen this done before and know where videos are, please leave a link in the comments for me because I'd love to check it out. Uh, but if I'm forging the path and blazing new trail here, that's cool too. We'll figure it out and we'll have hopefully some kind of a blueprint that somebody else can look at and at least for reference and see what they like. and. I'll be back with more videos on this as soon as we start working on it. So please hit the subscribe button, stay tuned, watch these, watch our other stuff, our mountain bike riding footage, our cooking. We've got all kinds of content on the channel already, more to come. I appreciate you being here and watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.